fungi, the fascinating organisms that pop up in our gardens, fields, and forests. They create a stunning array of shapes, sizes, and colors. Or perhaps the yeast, single-celled organisms that help us bake bread and brew beer. These familiar forms are just a small glimpse into a world of incredible diversity and ecological importance. The fungal kingdom is vast and ancient, a realm that has been quietly shaping our planet since the beginning of time. It encompasses millions of species, each with its own unique role and characteristics. These range from microscopic molds, unseen by the naked eye yet present in nearly every environment, to the largest living organisms on Earth, like the humongous fungus, a honey mushroom that spans acres underground. Fungi aren't plants or animals. They possess a unique cellular structure and mode of nutrition that sets them apart. They're a unique kingdom all their own, with characteristics so distinct that they warrant their own branch on the tree of life. This kingdom has shaped life for over a billion years, influencing the evolution of plants, animals, and even the very composition of our atmosphere. They thrive everywhere, from the most extreme environments to the most familiar. You'll find them in deserts, clinging to life in the driest conditions, and in tundras, braving the freezing temperatures. They're also in oceans, playing a crucial role in marine ecosystems, and even inside other living things, as endophytes or parasites, influencing their health and survival. The mushroom is just the fruiting body, the reproductive structure, often ephemeral and fleeting. The real organism is a hidden network beneath the surface, a vast web of mycelium that permeates the soil and connects to plant roots. Fungi form partnerships with plants in a symbiotic relationship called mycorrhizae, exchanging nutrients and water for sugars. They break down matter, decomposing dead plants and animals, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem, and even help create soil through their decomposition activities and interactions with other organisms. They play vital roles in every ecosystem, from forests and grasslands to deserts and oceans, maintaining balance and supporting life. To truly appreciate fungi, we need to shift our perspective and recognize their fundamental importance. We must see them as a fundamental pillar of life. Experts estimate that about 2.5 million species of fungi exist, but only about 10% have been identified so far. They are nature's great connectors and silent architects, linking plants together in vast networks and shaping the very landscape around us. As we explore this hidden kingdom, we discover fungi's profound wisdom, their intricate strategies for survival, and their remarkable ability to adapt to diverse environments. We understand their potential to help heal our planet, from cleaning up pollution to restoring degraded ecosystems. Right beneath our very feet, hidden from plain sight, lies mycelium, a vast, intelligent, an incredibly complex network of thread-like hyphae. These microscopic filaments weave through the soil, connecting the plant world. It's a hidden realm of communication and resource sharing. This web tirelessly forages for nutrients, facilitates intricate communication between plants, and remarkably supports life, all without a brain or nerves. It's a decentralized intelligence operating on a grand scale. Mycelium forms symbiotic relationships with over 90% of plant species on Earth, extending their reach, bolstering root systems, and efficiently sharing vital nutrients. This partnership is key to plant health and resilience. In return for these services, plants feed fungi precious sugars produced through photosynthesis, creating a mutually beneficial partnership that underpins the health and stability of entire ecosystems. It's a foundational relationship. Through this intricate network, trees can share resources such as water and carbohydrates, and even send warnings about potential threats like pests or diseases, revealing a deeply cooperative and interconnected forest community, where individual trees are part of a larger collective intelligence. Astonishingly, a single inch of healthy soil can contain miles upon miles of mycelium, a testament to its pervasive presence and importance. In many ecosystems, the total mass of mycelium often outweighs all the animals living above ground, highlighting its significant role in the environment. This vibrant, living web is truly the lifeblood of the soil, constantly cycling nutrients and supporting a vast array of organisms. It quietly sustains and intricately connects our planet's diverse ecosystems, playing a critical role in global nutrient cycles and carbon sequestration. The mycelial network can be seen as nature's original internet, a biological communication system that predates human technology by millennia. This ancient network has been diligently maintaining and supporting life on Earth long, long before humans even arrived on the scene. Fungi are nature's master recyclers, playing a vital role in breaking down organic material, a process essential for life. They break down dead matter, 
from fallen leaves to deceased animals, and returning precious nutrients to the living world. This decomposition process is not just about cleaning up, it's about rebirth and renewal. Without them, the world would be buried, suffocated under a mountain of organic waste. Imagine a world where nothing decomposes, where dead leaves pile up endlessly, and fallen trees remain untouched. A world overwhelmed in dead trees, layers of leaves that never break down, and the remains of animals that simply accumulate. Fungi prevent this ecological disaster. Their enzymes are like tiny molecular scissors, dismantling even the toughest materials like wood, which is composed of complex compounds like lignin and cellulose. These enzymes break down these complex structures, transforming them into rich, fertile soil, the foundation for new life to flourish. This process enriches the earth, making it ready to support the next generation of plants. As fungi decompose organic matter, they unlock and release essential nutrients, nutrients that are vital for plant growth and overall ecosystem health. They release carbon, a fundamental building block of life, back into the environment. They release nitrogen, a key component of proteins and DNA, essential for plant growth and development. And they release phosphorus, another crucial element for energy transfer and genetic material. All these elements are released back into the ecosystem, becoming available for plants and other organisms to use. This process sustains the nutrient cycle, ensuring that these vital elements are constantly recycled and reused within the environment. This constant recycling supports plants, which form the base of the food web and ultimately sustains the entire interconnected ecosystem. Fungi play a critical role in regulating decomposition rates and influencing the global carbon cycle, helping to maintain the balance of carbon in our atmosphere and soils. By influencing decomposition and carbon storage, fungi have a significant impact on climate regulation and overall soil health. They are the crucial link connecting death to new life, transforming what was once decaying matter into the building blocks of new organisms. This ensures that ecosystems constantly renew themselves, maintaining their vitality and resilience over time. Fungi are the unsung heroes, quietly working to maintain soil fertility and ensuring the resilience of our ecosystems in the face of environmental challenges. In nature, every ending is a new beginning, a testament to the power of decomposition and the vital role that fungi play in creating new life from old, ensuring the cycle continues. Thanks to fungi. Scientists wondered, could fungi's power to break down natural materials help clean up human pollution? Enter mycoremediation. Mycoremediation uses fungi to break down or remove pollutants, turning them into nature's cleanup crew. Fungi's enzymes can digest not just wood, but also man-made chemicals like oil and pesticides. Some fungi filter and trap pollutants in their dense mycelial mats, a process called mycofiltration. Others absorb heavy metals, locking toxins inside their cells, a process known as biosorption. Microremediation is a gentle, natural approach, working with living systems to restore balance. By harnessing fungi's abilities, we can transform pollution into renewal. Fungi's metabolic toolkit is unmatched. They produce aggressive enzymes that break down stubborn pollutants. White rot fungi, for example, can dismantle both natural lignin and toxic man-made chemicals. Oyster mushrooms can digest oil spills, turning toxic waste into healthy soil. Fungi also absorb heavy metals, concentrating them in their bodies for safe removal, a process called mycoaccumulation. Researchers have found fungi that degrade pesticides, pharmaceuticals, dyes, plastics, and even radioactive materials. For nearly every pollutant, there's a fungus that can help break it down or contain it. This adaptability makes fungi powerful allies in cleaning up our planet. Nature's own chemists, fungi are ready to tackle our toughest messes. Mycoremediation isn't just theory, it's working in the real world. After the 2007 Costco Busan oil spill, oyster mushrooms digested toxic debris, transforming it into healthy compost. In another experiment, fungi cleaned diesel-contaminated soil faster and more completely than chemicals or bacteria. Fungi also help remove heavy metals from polluted sites, partnering with trees to draw toxins out of the ground. These living solutions restore ecosystems, turning wastelands into thriving habitats. Fungi filter pesticides from runoff and decontaminate industrial water, proving their versatility. While not a magic bullet, fungi are a potent, living technology for environmental recovery. Each success story shows the untapped potential of the fungal kingdom. Traditional cleanup methods are costly, energy-intensive, and often leave land lifeless. Mycoremediation is different, sustainable, affordable, and restorative. Fungi can be grown cheaply on waste materials, turning trash into a resource for cleanup. 
The process is low-tech and works on-site, saving money and reducing pollution. As fungi break down toxins, they also enrich the soil, encouraging the return of plants and animals. Mycoremediation rebuilds ecosystems from the ground up, not just removing toxins, but restoring life. It's safer, avoids harsh chemicals, and works with nature's own cycles. By partnering with fungi, we choose a path of ecological intelligence and regeneration. Recent assessments show that at least 411 out of 1,300 fungi species evaluated by the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, are at risk of extinction. As we discover fungi's potential, we're also putting them at risk. Deforestation impacts to at least 198 species threatened. Furthermore, agriculture and pollution destroy the habitats fungi need to thrive. Overuse of fungicides and chemical runoff disrupts soil life reducing fungal diversity. Every lost species could mean losing a unique solution to pollution. Climate change threatens fungi, disrupting their partnerships and survival. Protecting old-growth forests and adopting regenerative agriculture are crucial for fungal conservation. Supporting fungal research is vital. We can't protect what we don't understand. By safeguarding fungi, we secure our own future and the health of our planet.